Today on this 2006 Jeep Liberty, we're going to review and install the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-88400. We'll go ahead and hook up our Jeep to our power supply. In this case, it's going to be a truck. This also can be your RV. We'll plug it in and we'll go ahead and turn on the turn signal. As we look at the Jeep, you can see that we have a turn signal working, being powered by the towing vehicle. Now, as I step on the brake pedal, you notice that it goes solid. We don't want this to happen. So this is why we need the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit. So after we have it installed, this will allow the brake signal to work with the turn signal as it would normally. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the parts that come with the kit. We have a relay right here, the socket for the relay and its wires, a length of red wire that will go off our fuse holder right here, a couple of buck connectors, we'll have a spade connector for our fuse tap right here, and also a ring terminal for our ground, and a few zip ties to help tidy things up. Now our relay needs to install in the wire harness that goes between your brake switch and the rest of your vehicle. What you want to do is find your brake pedal, follow it up towards the switch on top, and look for the wire harness. Now on this vehicle here, we can actually undo this panel. It makes things a lot easier to see. I'm using a plastic pry bar. This will actually pop out on its own. But sometimes it can be a little tough. And it swings down out of the way. Now if we follow our brake pedal up to the top, this is our switch, and here's our wire harness. Now we want to look for the wire only turns on when you press the brake pedal. In that case, it's going to be the white and tan wire right here. All right, let's go ahead and get started to our installation. We need to cut this wire in half and get to a point that's easily accessed. And we'll strip the wires back. And the one half of the wire goes to the switch. We'll go ahead and add our yellow buck connector. It's a good idea to fold the wire in half to give it more of a grip and we can go ahead and crimp them on. Now let's work for the other half of our wire. We'll strip that back, add our blue butt connector. Now we can go ahead and work with our socket here. We're gonna work with the green and black wires. Our green wire will go over towards our yellow buck connector. They're actually already stripped a little bit, so we just need to take the insulation off and cut off some of the excess. And our black wire will go to our blue buck connector. Let's go ahead and work for a white wire, which will be your ground. We'll slide the ring terminal onto that, attach it, and then I'm going to attach it to the sheet metal right here. Now I'm going to attach it using a self-tapping screw, which does not come with the kit. I'm using a number eight size screw that uses a quarter inch nut driver. I'll go ahead and attach the screw first, then I'll go ahead and attach my ground wire. Now one thing to know is that our blue wire right here, we will not be using, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's work for our red wire here. We got it stripped back. And we're gonna add our fuse holder right to it. So it has, already comes with the fuse already put into it, put together. All I gotta do is slide the wire in as far as it can go and crimp down right here. Then we'll take our length of red wire here, we'll strip it back, add it to the other side. Our other end of the wire, you may want to shorten it up going to the fuse panel because it's really close by, personal preference. So I'm going to take off about half of this, that should be enough. Now let's go ahead and run this over to our fuse panel. So we just run it below basically, and there's an opening on the bottom you can run it right up towards. Now this wire needs to hook up to a fuse that only comes on when the key is turned to the on position, like you're driving down the road. So for example, this fuse right here, 
doesn't have any power going to it. Now I turn it to the on position, it turns on. And that's what we want. I'm just gonna take the fuse, pull it out, and then we'll add our fuse tap. So our fuse tap has a hole in the end where it fits through to the one of the blades here. And you just push it up and over. It's gonna be a real tight fit. Sometimes it helps to use a tool to help push it up in position. Sometimes it helps to rock it back and forth and push it on as well. With the proper placement, it should look like this. Now, when we reinstall a fuse, we want our fuse tap to be on the hot side of the socket. So one of these is going to have power when we turn the key on, and the other side will not. We want the one with the power. So we're going to turn the key on. And it looks like the slot going towards the front of the vehicle is the one side that's going to be hot. We'll make sure that this, our, we'll make sure our fuse tap goes to the hot side. And let's go and reinstall the fuse. And this will be a little bit tighter fit with that fuse tap in place. And then we'll take our terminal in and push it onto our fuse tap. Okay, now we'll go ahead and take our relay, put it into place. We'll just line up the pins and push it together. All right, before we bundle everything up, let's go ahead and check our work. We'll go ahead and put the key in ignition and turn it to the on position. And then we'll press our brake pedal to make sure our brake lights still work. If the brake light's working, we can go ahead and bundle up all our wiring. Go ahead and use zip tie to help bundle up our wires. You don't get too many zip ties, so you may want to get some more. Or you can use some electrical tape also to help bundle up your wires. We'll use this hole on top of our relay to our advantage. You can use that to run a zip tie up and secure it. I'll go with this wire harness right here. Now we can go ahead and put our panel back up in place. And our door for our fuse panel. And that'll finish it for the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-88400 on this 2006 Jeep Liberty. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.